Summer is here and I'm sure some of you can relate. You break out your Polaroid camera, but your photos come out like this. Here are a few things you can do to get better performance out of your Polaroid film in the summer. Temperature is one of the most important parts of the process in my experience. Polaroid film is pretty sensitive when it comes to the heat. First off, Polaroid film is best stored in the fridge. The whole point of this is to keep the chemistry within the Polaroid stable so that when you take a photo, the colors come out the way they're supposed to. According to Polaroid, when you're ready to use it, take your film out of the fridge and let it come up to room temperature. Sweet Lou cooking when, am I right? <laughs> Also, I mentioned the fridge very specifically here. Putting your Polaroid film in the freezer isn't good either. It's a little too cold. You'll get the best results when your Polaroids develop between 55 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 and 28 degrees Celsius. If you live in an area where the temperatures get higher than that, it's important to make sure your photos are developing in a cooler place. Otherwise, your photos will get a warm cast them. You'll see a little bit more red, yellow, pinks in your results, kind of like these. Some people actually do like that coloring, which is cool, but it's not really what it's supposed to look like. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! Polaroid recommends letting your photos develop in a cooler bag with ice packs to ensure it isn't too hot out for them, which is awesome because then you can be the one with your friends who has a camera bag and you can really up the dork factor by carrying your Polaroid lunchbox. I swear, the things we do for the toes. Along with the lunchbox, they say you can let it develop in an air-conditioned room or under a beverage, so this sounds like a perfect time for a little bit of a test. And of course, in typical Sweet Lou photography fashion, this did not go as planned. For the first round of photos, I went to my favorite coffee shop, Grounds. It was 93 degrees out, and unfortunately, I was using the Polaroid Now Plus, and the Now Plus was like, hey, I'm gonna overexpose everything, which was really cool and very helpful for this video. Test one was a total bust, but a big shout out to my friend Nick from Grounds for taking these photos. After the ravishing success of the first round of tests, I grabbed my original Polaroid now and went to the pool. And I completely forgot that that camera is uniquely messed up in its own way and that one's completely my fault. I did a stupid, you'll see a video about it eventually, but uh, the rollers on that camera may be irreversibly <laughs> damaged. Oh, this is going great. These photos are not overexposed, but they are all kinds of jacked up. Regardless, you can still see the effects the temperature has on the development process. Third time's the charm, I went back to grounds with my Polaroid Sun. Unfortunately, my rollers were a little bit dirty, hence the opacification failure there, which are the blue scratchy lines, but uh, uh, it is what it is, as they say. <laughs> I ended up having to do this test three times. That was a lot of films, so smash that subscribe button to uh, make my soul feel a little better. So what did we learn from all these tests? I can say with great confidence that the temperature drastically affects the way the photos develop. Also, if it's in direct sunlight, you will get very different results. If you're going the drink route, I definitely recommend a bigger water bottle like mine with ice in it as opposed to a can. The can left this ring in the photo, which is just very ugly. And the last big takeaway is don't let anyone tell you shielding your Polaroids from light is not important. It absolutely is. Which is an excellent segue into our next topic. Light is another major contender here, and it's just as important as temperature. If you're outdoors during the day, it's good practice to try and keep the sun behind you when you're taking a photo. Always remember that Polaroids need a ton of light to develop. If you're outside, golden hour is going to be your best friend. Some of my absolute favorite Polaroids ever have been taken around sunset. The modern Polaroid chemistry seems to handle the warmer colors and higher contrast very nicely. If you've never tried it, that's your homework after watching this video. If I'm working with a bright sunny day, whether it's midday or sunset, I tend to not use the flash outdoors. I only use the flash outdoors if my subject is in the shade, under a tree, that sort of thing. On the flip side, if I'm indoors, I almost always use the flash. Once you've taken your photo, you want to make sure that you shield your Polaroid from the light. That's why these cameras have this flappy thing which is known as a film shield or a frog tongue. I prefer calling it a frog tongue because it makes me think of my son Huck. Polaroid recommends leaving the photo under the frog tongue for the first few seconds, then you can remove it. But at that point your photo is still sensitive to light so keep it somewhere dark and dry until the development time has passed. These times are listed on the back of the Polaroid boxes but just in case you don't have one handy, the color film takes between 10 and 15 minutes to develop and the black and white film takes between 5 and 10 minutes to develop. I know it's really tempting to look, but just leave the photo alone and let it do its thing. Trust me, you can't be nostalgic for something that literally just happened. I normally stuff my Polaroids back into the box the film came in to protect them from the light. Also, there is no need to shake the Polaroids once you've taken the photo. This is old news, but I still see people do it all the time. In fact, shaking your Polaroid can actually damage the development process according to Polaroid. I haven't experienced that personally, but then again, I don't shake my Polaroids, so I guess I wouldn't have experienced it. My general attitude regarding Polaroid is the film is so expensive, I don't really take chances with it. 
Okay, most of the time I don't take chances with it, but you can watch that video, link is in the description. After your photo developed, you shielded it from the light, all that good stuff, there are still, in Polaroid's words, tiny chemical reactions that are happening under the surface, so you gotta keep shielding it from the light. Polaroid recommends you store your photos somewhere safe, dry, and dark for the first 30 days. Then you can archive them in a photo album or put them on display. They also mention that if you're framing your Polaroids, you wanna make sure that the glass is UV protective, otherwise the light will fade the photo over time. So go shoot some Polaroids, you can join the Discord to find me on Instagram. This video is now over. All right, bye. Like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Sweet, Sweet Lou Photography. Dumb man.